Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. Well, we brought you the first, now we bring you the last with state titles taking place all day over the last two days and state action all week. It only seems fitting that the first trophy handed out and the last happened to be for games from our area. And it's made for quite the ride. St. Mary's looking to get some revenge against Parkview Christian. Who else but Aiden Hedstrom? He gets things going for the Cardinals. A little hesitation after the spin move as he scored the first four points for St. Mary's. But then the Patriots picking up the pace. Maurice Reed zooming to the rack to kick off a 13-2 run in the first quarter. The Cardinals clawing back. 15 seconds left in the frame. Isaac Everett drains a shot from beyond the arc. It's suddenly just a two-point game. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Braden Ulrich is left wide open in the paint just long enough to get a layup to stretch it back to four at the half. St. Mary's keeping it tough, battling in the fourth quarter. Everett kicking it out to his brother Adam for a mid-range jumper, but Parkview Christian just too much to handle. Michael Alt cashing in from deep as the Patriots. They get the best of the Cardinals for the second straight year, 64 to 48. St. Cecilia going for their third title in four years against state finals newbies Bridgeport. The Hawkettes, they strike first. Shea Butler with a bounce pass to Addie Kierkegaard to get the party started. Moments later, though, she'd go down with a leg injury and would not return until the second half. This allowed the Bulldogs to build a lead using their new height advantage inside. Ruthie Loomis Girdle hits a layup right there. And STC, though, they're going to get the last laugh in the first half. Butler's shot is off the mark, but Ryan Sabatka gets the putback at the buzzer to cut Bridgeport's advantage down to six. That energy carried into the next frame as St. Cecilia heated up from deep. Aaron Sheehy nailing one from the wing. Then Tatum Krikak splashes another. And Butler, she's going to get in on the fun, too. St. Cecilia took a 21-19 advantage at the break. This game going to be decided in the fourth quarter. Ellie Klein, she swishes a shot from straight away to put Bridgeport on top, but Sheehy fires back from beyond the arc to knot this one up at 33 all. The Bulldogs, though, not going away. Loomis Girdle with three the old-fashioned way to take the lead once more, and she is pumped. But the Hawkettes have been in this situation before, and they know what to do. Sheehy with an inside look to Butler. And it would even be a St. Cecilia highlight, or would it be a St. Cecilia highlight without Bailey Kissinger? 17 points for her, a team high, including that putback, to give them a lead they would not relinquish. The Hawkeyes state champs for the seventh time in program history, 40 to 38. Just being in the title game four years in a row, we kind of get used to how things go and just, um, I think in the fourth quarter we got we stayed really poised when um, they started making a run and it got close again. Um, and I think just being there so many times before allows us just to take a deep breath and know that we've done this before, we can do it again. I knew our girls were going to dig in. You know, I've always kind of said, told you guys, like offensively I give them a lot of freedom and defensively that's my end and that's where you're going to really find out a lot about someone's character. And these kids are tough as nails. They weren't going to quit and obviously uh, they didn't quit in that last possession. Well, we've got a uh, impressive battle here as we jump over to or we remain on the girls' side for a Cinderella story of sorts. We got a battle of the Bulldogs between Shelton and Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family. HLHF started the game on a 5-0 run. Paige Beller, she gets the bounce pass in the low post, puts it up and in to kick things off with the Bulldogs. They bit back. Haley Clark launches a shot from beyond the arc. That's nothing but net to tie up the contest. HLHF would lead by two at the end of the first. On the fast break, Beller with a tough angle, but Addison Schneider gets the second chance bucket. It's part of a big game for her. Humphrey Lindsay, Holy Family, then took over in the second. Beller throwing in a spin move down low. The ball takes an extra trip around the rim before falling through. Rebounding, a big problem for Shelton throughout the game. Lauren Carlson grabs the board and takes off running. Bounces a shot off the window as the Bulldogs. They led 28 to 15 at the half. Out of the break, Schneider kept capitalizing on putback. She already had a double-double just two minutes into the second half to help them keep rolling, but the momentum shifted towards Shelton. Defense turning into offense with McKenna Willis making the steal and Maite Meza finishing it on the other end for a pair. Willis then going to drive and dish to Drew Nemac for the floater over two defenders to keep chipping away. How about Willis, though, with space down the baseline for a pair as HLHF's lead now down to single digits. The comeback effort continuing into the fourth. Clark, she drains another triple, finishing with eight points on the night. 
but not going to be enough as Shelton. They finish as state runners up in their first trip to Lincoln, falling 42 to 34. We need to hit our threes. We had some great looks, and and they, they just weren't falling, and, and we weren't effective enough in the post to, to score a lot down there. So they were giving us the three, and, and we just didn't make it. And They took the shots they were supposed to take, and uh, second half, our defense really played well. I thought it was going to even give ourselves a chance to get back in the game, but uh, we just weren't hitting our shots.